And I need to go to uh, our correspondent, uh, Chris Lambs. Uh, Chris, Chris is in. Uh, Chris, where are you? What's happening? I hope you had a good night rest. I wish I could have uh, said so. Um, it was um, actually a very, very stressful night as well because we were up hoping that um, results um, would have uh, would have been trickling uh, to the collision center uh, in Imo State uh, or Wherry, but uh, nothing as such has happened. We're actually at the collision center, and if you look right behind me, you see uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission uh, collision center. It's still under lock and key. Nothing is happening here, and this is as a result of a delay in the in dispatching coalition officers to their various um, uh, uh, duty points. Uh, actually, they just started uh, uh, dispatching a few of them this morning to some of their coalition points. And we spoke with the um, REC who told us that um, maybe from 11 or 12, that's when um, activities will kick off here. But for now, we are talking security matters. And of course, I have um, the Commissioner of Police, uh, CP Dasuki Galadanchi, with me, who would be giving us update on um, some of the security um, uh, situation um, around town. We heard yesterday that one person was uh, shot dead at inquiry. We heard uh, cases of uh, ballot box snatching and of course um, even thug activities, you know, in some isolated uh, parts of the of the state. So he would be giving us um, a brief on this uh, this morning. Uh, CP, welcome to Channels TV Live. It's a pleasure having you with us. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, CP, how was uh, yesterday? Could you just give us um, a brief on what happened yesterday, security-wise? Uh, well, yesterday was the gubernatorial um, and um, state assembly elections and um, the run of senatorial district at Otiugwe and some other parts of the state, like Obo. Um, we had prepared and the elections had taken place without some hitches and skirmishes. But generally, uh, the election went on well and um, we are on it. And all other um, issues that are related to INEC had been communicated to INEC and they have been communicated to INEC and um, the INEC will know how to take their appropriate actions. Uh, in our own part, security wise, we uh, had recorded some incidences, as you have rightly said, and all those incidences, uh, investigation is ongoing. We have made some arrests of uh, over a hundred and something uh, suspects, over 105 suspects so far in custody. Well, apologies for that, uh, but uh, yes, we did get from the CP that telling us that uh, 105 suspects have been apprehended.